Okay, here we are in the command line portion of the reduce by key lesson, and we're firing up our interactive shell so that we can uh, do some uh, reduce by key. Okay, so first, first things first, let's go ahead and create some RDDs. And again, Fox, uh, Fox one here is an arbitrary name. You can use whatever you want. The spark context that parallelize method will parallelize a, uh, a list that you have and make it into an RDD for you. Let's give it a list. And we can designate the number of partitions, let's say two. And we're going to make a list of strings. And let's put some names in there. Okay, so that, that looks good, okay. Perfect, let's verify what we have. I'll make sure that we have in there what we expect. And we're going to use the collect action against our new RDD to see what is the contents of it. And this is an action, so therefore the result of the RDD is presented back, in this case, to the, uh, to the console here. Okay, so we have an, an RDD with elements that are strings, but we cannot use reduce by key against it yet because we need a an RDD of key value pairs in order to be able to use reduce by key. So one way to turn this into an RDD of key value pairs is by using the map function. So let's do that now. Let's make a new RDD because, of course, we're going to apply uh, a transformation here. And what we're going to do here is real simple. We're going to just map x to x comma 1. And what this is going to do is it's going to just basically create a new RDD that is called Fox2. And that RDD is going to be made up of key value pairs where the names, which were the elements of the original RDD, will be the key. And the number one is going to be the value for each. So let's verify that that is indeed what happened as we expect. And let's go ahead and run collect against that one. And there you go. As you can see, the new RDD now has key value pairs that we can use with reduce by key. So let's go ahead and apply it. And we're going to go ahead and apply the reduce by key that you're going to see most often out in the wild, which is the shorthand. And here we go. And let's go ahead and append the collect right to the end so that we can do this all in one shot. Okay, and there you have it. The resulting RDD, the final RDD is Fox3. And as you can see, Tom and Ali, uh, the key Tom and Ali have value of two because, of course, in the originating RDD, they showed up twice and reduced by key has reduced the values for both of them. Now, Tim only showed up once, so, of course, he only shows up once as well in the resulting RDD. And that is how uh, reduced by key works. Thank you, and if you have time, join me in the next lesson.